YouTube channel to teach you about Python basics. In the previous session, we have discussed about Python installation mechanism. You know, uh, you have mobile at home or you have laptop or computer at home. So if you have any of these things, you can install by watching our previous video that is Python installation guide. Now, uh, for mobile application, I told you about the PyDroid application. Here, uh, you can use that application to install Python in your mobile also. So, this is the uh, main feature of uh, your Python programming language that it is so much portable and uh, so uh, it is lighter so that it can be installed in different kind of devices nowadays available. Okay, now today we are going to discuss about the Python basics what are the different component of Python, how it works and what we have to know about the language. Okay, so here we proceed. The first thing in this chapter, you will be able to define keywords, recognize keywords, variable and its need. You can explain it. Variable naming convention means there are certain rules to give the name of a variable and you can do it uh, by using variable naming conventions. You can put the name of variable so that there is no mistakes in the program. After that, you can assign some values to the variable and how do we assign the values to a variable? We will learn this and then that finally we will learn about data type. Data type means uh, the values kind of value uh, you are assigning to a particular variable the variable is bound, bound with a certain kind of value that we will learn in data type so first thing first keywords so as you know different kind of languages i it may be hindi it may be english or the urdu there may be several language in the similar way programming language there is programming language to develop programs as the other language have some consonant variable uh, consonant uh, vowels uh, helping verb verbs conjunction there are so many components of a language in the similar way a programming language also have some components and these components are maybe the keywords maybe the identifier maybe literals there are so many we will learn one by one as per our curriculum okay so first of all i am telling you about the keyword keyword these are the special word which have some special meaning okay so compiler read this word and generate that special meaning which is assigned to it so the, these keywords these are the reserve words yeah, and they have some special purpose so for any programming language there are certain reserve words and they have some special purpose associated with it python interpreted interpreter interprets these words and perform the actions accordingly so every language have certain keywords okay so python also having some keywords now the characteristics of a keyword we cannot use a keyword as a variable name so we should not use the keyword which is defined cannot be used as a variable name keywords are used to define syntaxes and structure of a python language yes of course so syntax means the way of writing a command or a structure means the keywords are some kind of formation some kind of words that should be written as given in the particular programming language it can you cannot deviate you cannot violate the rules which is defined here the python keywords are case sensitive what does it mean case sensitive means that the letters written in small will be treated differently as the letters written in capital is it okay so uh, in in uh, in English language, small a and capital A meaning is similar, but in Python language, the keywords have keywords are case sensitive. Means 
case sensitive means the whatever is written in a small letter suppose if is written in a small letter and if is written in capital letter both are two different things is it okay after that python 3.8 we were, we were last last day we were using 3.8 version of python version means uh, the upgradation or like you have addition in your book you know first edition second edition third edition in the similar way when the language progresses and you know, there are some kind of development then uh, their new version released by the developer so python 3.8 supports approximately 35 such keywords okay so uh, we will know more about the keywords how the what are these keywords some of them are listed here like false true def break none from a uh, list is long so you can see these are the reserve words and these words could not be used as the name of a variable or something else so these are the reserve words and we must follow these rules keyword uses suppose we want to you can see these are the uh, rules given here and you can see these these uh, keep in mind in false f is capital in true true t is capital so you have to keep in mind okay if you are writing like this suppose suppose you write false in a small letter okay suppose you write false in a small letter what will happen if i write false so is it a keyword no it's not a keyword the keyword must have this kind of presentation means f is capital a l s e a l s e is small so this is the actual keyword not this one this one is a value particular okay so in the similar way break break is written in a small and if i write break in capital break both are similar tell me both are similar of course not break is a keyword whereas this break is not a keyword so this is uh, in the last here i have said this thing okay python keywords are case sensitive understood the meaning okay now you understood the meaning of keyword now key suppose you want to assign false in a variable x how will you do that x is equal to false simple the false is a boolean value that is assigned boolean value there are two boolean values one is that true another one is false these are the two boolean values and you can choose any one of them okay false yeah this one oh sorry true may uh, in true t is capital and r u e is small okay so this is wrong you can say only i have to write t r u e this is the value keyword okay the so false is the keyword assigned to variable boolean variable x okay so now you understand what is keyword and uh, these are case sensitive and now the uh, this this is clear now we will come to variable what is a variable so variable is just like a small container it's a container that can hold a value for example you can see here x is equal to a so x is what x is a variable x is a variable okay and 8 is what 8 is the value assigned to that variable this is value you can see here so x is variable and 8 is value so variable is just like a container that can hold a value in it a variable is simply a memory location 
दैट इज रिजर्व टू स्टोर सम वैल्यू यू नो कंप्यूटर कंटेन्स रैम मेमोरी एज वेल एज हार्ट इज ड्राइव सो वेन एवर यू असाइन ए वेरिएबल इट इज डिक्लेयर विद इन विच मेमरी रैम मेमरी ओके सो रैम मेमरी कंटेन्स द टेम्प्ररी वेरिएबल्स वेरिएबल्स विच आर यू विच यू हैव डिफाइंड सपोज यू हैव डिफाइंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू एट सो एक्स इज डिक्लेयर हेयर इन रैम सो रैम इज द मेमोरी मेमोरी लोकेशन सो दैट्स वाई एक्स इज वॉट एक्स वाई एक्स इज ए मेमोरी लोकेशन in ram okay now x is a variable of integer type in python the value assigned to variable determine its type what does it mean means you can see 8 is 8 is a integer value suppose i have written 8.0 this is what kind of value it's something else it, it it's known as float value and if i write computer like they have written here in double quotes what is it it's a string variable what's it it's a string variable so now the value of x is computer okay so there are different kind of values it may be integer it may be float it may be string so there are different kind of values you can assign to a particular variable so therefore a variable can change its type after it has been set okay earlier x was of integer type because the integer value is assigned to it but later in the later course of action x is defined x is equal to computer means a string value is assigned to x so now x is became string type okay is it okay theek next is why do we need variable why do we require variable so let's understand why do we require it you must have used variable in mathematical expression in class 7th you have done some mathematical work and in this mathematical work you must have seen suppose x is equal to 5 into y it's an expression okay x is equal to 5 into y where y is equal to 3 suppose the value of y has been given now the value of x will be 15 of course so the value of x will become 15 suppose i have given y is equal to 5 what will be the value of x the value of x will become 25 because the value of x is dependent on the value of y in this case in this expression x and y both are variables because the value of x and y varying every time whenever the value of y change the value of x automatically change accordingly because of the expression so these are variables variables means the location whose values can be changed during the execution of time program now if the value of y is changed the value of x automatically change as per the new value of y this i told you now in computer programming basically whenever we need to get the user inputs you need to store it somewhere where will you store of course there should be some location where we will store it store the values it received from the user so for that purpose we need a com container and the memory location where we can store these values these are known as variables so that's why to hold the user inputs and after that you need to process those inputs in the processing you may generate some results so these results need to be stored somewhere for some point of time so that is also uh, in that case also we need a variable and finally to store the generated final output is also need to store in some variable so some kind of container these variables are which store the values received from the user the values which is uh, produced during the processing and the values which is the final result so that's for that purpose we need some variables now these variables names 
to be written as per different uh, different programming languages have certain set of rules and that rules need to be followed whenever we are putting the name of a variable so these are known as variable naming conventions so each language has its own set of rules to declare and initialize a variable okay so python also has some set of conventions to follow when naming a variable what are these conventions the first one is the variable name may include alphabets digits and underscore other than underscore you cannot put any other special character okay so it can include alphabets it can include digits and underscore and next is the variable name should be user friendly what does it mean user friendly means like uh, i have written salary salary is the name of variable so you will be able to easily understood that salary is a value and if i if uh, salary is the variable name and in which you can put the salary of an employee if i write x y z it is not representing to anything x y z if i write the x y z is the name of variable it is not representing it is not meaningful whereas salary is meaningful means it is defining that there will be some kind of value which is termed as salary so variable name should be user friendly so that they can convey some meaning variable name are case sensitive again the keywords are also case sensitive and variable name is also a case sensitive uh, component of a program a variable name cannot start with digit most important point point that variable name cannot be start with digit you can write salary but you cannot write one salary one salary is it okay this is right but this is wrong okay now the a variable name cannot contain space characters theek hai suppose i want to write yearly yearly salary yearly salary so i cannot give a space here if i write this yearly salary then it means it's wrong but if i put underscore here it will become okay okay so i have written underscore here so it's okay now now this is a correct if but i if i give blank here then it means it's a wrong variable okay python compiler will or the interpreter will produce an error variable name cannot be like keywords that we have already discussed when i taught you about the keywords next is python basics variables dekhiye uh, let's let's take some examples and understand valid and invalid variable name suppose yes tell me name is valid or invalid yes it's valid first name first dot name it's a valid or invalid it's invalid you cannot put any other character then underscore second name is it valid or invalid it's invalid because it is starting from digit amount in dollar it's a valid or invalid yes of course it's invalid because there are spaces between amount and in and in and dollar true true is a valid or invalid it's a invalid because true is identifier okay so only name is the valid identifier rest of these are invalid okay the variable names are case sensitive means name written in lower case and upper case are treated as two different variables like age and age are two different variables that i told you earlier okay now how to assign values to a variable simply you can use equal symbol to assign values to a variable to assign a value to a variable we use equal symbol like age is equal to 23 so age is a variable of integer type because the value 23 is of integer type 
so age will become a variable with value 23 and doubt you can declare any kind any variable with any value okay you can use string values also suppose i want to and i want to put n is a variable name is equal to such in such in i have to write in double quotes because it's a string okay such in so i have written it in this so now here you can say n is a variable of a string type because the value is such in which is written in double quotes and it is of a string type clear so next is python exercise basics exercise now uh, just go through these questions keywords are reserved words simple text variable or none reserved words which of the following is not a valid identifier not a valid identifier so of course invalid uh, invalid asking about invalid this is valid this is valid this is also valid and this is invalid due to the first character is a digit which data type represent a whole number which data type represent a whole number integer complete number you can get in integer only which data type would the following stored as a string you have to store pizza so it's a string because it is written in double quotes which of the following is an integer so integer does not contain decimal values so this is a integer that's all for today do the exercises given in the book thank you so much